talk about different ways of getting uh, addressing being tackled. People know how to play, they play football or they wrestled or they just know, hey, I just a simple gross motor skill, jump on somebody and take them to the ground. Obviously, when anything, the quicker you respond and notice it, the easier it is to, to take care of it. So we want to use our muscle memory from angles, from sparring and different kind of things. We want to angle off. People, somebody's going to have momentum. A truck coming in, it's just going to be hard for it to break and stop in time. So somebody's coming in at me, kind of going to do about half, half speeds coming in. I see him on my angle off shove. He's going to have his momentum already moving. He's not about to stop on a dime. All I got to do is angle off, shove, redirect him, just like uh, playing pool billiards. One ball, he's going to knock the other one out like that, or croquet. So he's coming up for do it again. He's coming at me. Whoa, I see him coming. I'll show him, angle him off. He's going to run into something. I can take off at that point or whatever. Okay? That's the easy thing to do. Just Even if you don't even connect with them, you're angling off, they're going to miss. If you angle off and shove them, just like I said, hitting a, hitting a croquet ball, it's going to move them off at an angle like that. Okay? If you're a little bit slower or they're faster than you thought they were, you're slower in responding, and they actually make contact with you coming in, I want to be working on stands we move him back, driving him down, shoving him down as, as, as he's coming in on me. So he's coming in, I want to be moving back and shoving him down so he's going to be landing on his face, his chin, his hands, whatever. So once again, he's coming in, I say, whoa, there he is. I'm going to shove him down as I move back. Okay, so I'm, now I'm just redirecting his momentum down and set off to the side. Now, if they actually make contact, they actually get their arms around you, try to tackle you, stances, 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 like anything are so important. I stay like this, be off my feet, he's gonna land on me. He may get hurt a little bit, but all his weight, boom, is on me, I'm gonna get crushed. So he comes in, he's getting me, gets arms around me. Okay, for here, I only have good stances, so if I respond in a half a second too late, good front stance, maybe driving me back like this, it's harder to move somebody, it's got a deep stance like that. And from there, I could do any number of things. I could go grab him like this, get him around here, get him in a, get in a guillotine, get him in a knee, get control of it, at least for a second, and work off, and then we're into different kind of things at that point, okay? Just get deep front stance. It would be a lot harder for him to keep pushing. It's a lot harder to take me down, okay, because my feet are here to push. I'm gonna go down. And he makes contact, and you go down. So he comes in, we're gonna, Go slow motion here comes in. Oh, I don't see it. Going down. He's already got too much momentum for me to get a leg back. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go ahead and go with it. Get close guard on it. Go ahead, don't be trying to think, oh, I'm trying to get out of this because he's gonna be getting me. Go ahead, take control. <laughs> Wrap up. Wrap those legs. Squeezing here is not squeezing the legs in, it's putting your legs out straight. That squeezes. Take the air out, it's gonna crack ribs. We go ahead and hold him in here. Take control. This guy's wanting to be on you. You go ahead and be on him then. Take control in here. You can headbutt. Do all kinds of pressure points from there. Thumbs and eyes, thumbs under ear, pull hair, hit him, break ear drums, drive the elbows into pressure points, hit in here, break ribs, pinch things off, hold his arms in here. All kinds of things from there. It's not the end of the fight, but at least you're not dead. You're in control of it, okay?